NCAA basketball totals for Tuesday, January 31st. This is a segment where we look at total set by odds makers, and we try to beat that line either over or under the total. We got three games on the card today. Good slate of games out there. We also have our NBA segment, but we're going to do that live. We're getting back to doing a live segment. That's going to be 4 o'clock Eastern Tuesday. Uh, I'm actually making this video right now. It's Monday night as well. I've you know been pouring over the lines uh, since they came out. Um, but Tuesday, it's going to be live, 4 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Pacific. So be sure to check that out. The feedback, you guys have been fantastic. So tune into that. If you have never watched that video before, you've got to check it out because you, you can uh, chime in to me. I'll respond to you, you know, once I get done doing my job of checking out the totals. And it's just been great. You know, the give and take on there has been fantastic. You know, some of you guys disagree with me on stuff. Uh, I think somebody went against all my plays where I had that horrible day last week and they profited, which is great. You know, the, you if you guys profit, I'm okay with that uh, because I know for me in the long run, I'm going to profit because that's just, I do that every year. So, you know, it has been, NBA hasn't been great. We're hitting about 53%. NCAA, we're doing fine though. 123 and uh, 100. Uh, you know, that's a nice little profit. We continue that for the rest of the season, which I, I anticipate we will. So um, my spread picks for NCAA has been great. If you've ever been able to catch those as we do that NBA live segment and also our spread picks for NBA has been uh, pretty solid. You know, those aren't we don't really keep track of those. But if you guys pay attention, you'll see we've been hitting our fair share. And, uh, you know, be sure to come in and share uh, when we do that. Four o'clock Eastern again. Tune into that. All right. YouTube channel, Facebook page, SBRPicks.com, Sportsbook Review. All the sign-up bonuses are there. And uh, Blacklist, Sportsbooks to Avoid. A lot of great stuff. Great website, Sportsbook Review. Let's get to some totals. We got three on the card. Again, we're 123 and 100. We were 1-1 one one yesterday and 1-1 one one the day before yesterday. And uh, hopefully we'll do a little bit better today, trying to hit at least two of these. We'd like to sweep, of course. But let's see if we can uh, grab two. Uh, that's always great. If we can hit two out of three, that's great. And something to be mentioned real quick, by the way. And so I don't know why guys don't know this, this, this more is, uh, you know, I'll have a day where I'll go 3-0, and and everybody will be happy, and I sweep. And then the next day, I'll go 1-2, and two, and people will be like, you're the worst handicapper ever, 1-2. One, one we'll put them together. That's 4-2. and two. Come on. That's why we're having a profitable season, because we're not looking at just one day. We're looking at the week, the month, you know. We're putting them all together, and that's how we, you know, go ahead and uh, establish a, a little bit of a bankroll. All right. I digress. Off my soapbox, let's talk about some totals. First one up here. I'll get on my soapbox a, little, soapbox a little bit on the NBA Live segment. So you can tune in and, and see me get crazy a little bit <laughs> and then tell me to calm down. All right. Creighton and Butler, 149 and a half, and I'm going over. Now, of course, they met up earlier in the season at Creighton. 75-64 final, Creighton won. Tempo wasn't bad, though. Butler got up 63 attempts. Creighton just 56. That's a little bit slow for them. Shooting-wise, Butler didn't shoot very well, about 41%. Creighton shot 53%. Excuse me, 55%. Great for them. Both of them shot about 30% from them uh, from distance. Not great. They didn't get the line that much. I just think the way these both both these teams can score, and I know it's our second matchup, but I, I really think they're going to get there. I mean, you're talking about two teams that could flat-out score. And, uh, you know, this total is set. They, odds makers didn't crazy. It was 153. They ended up under 140, but odds makers didn't really budge that much. Just four points. So, you know, at 149.5, you might want to think they're going to be at the same as they were last game, but I don't think they are. I don't think they will. Creighton right now, uh, 84.5 points per game. They rank 11th in the country. Butler's a good scoring offense, 76.8. They do play good defense, so I'm a little bit wary about that, especially at home. But this Creighton team, they're road, you know, they're road tested and they'll score. Right now, they're shooting 52.2% overall from the floor. That's second in the country. They push great tempo. Uh, Butler, I think, is going to run with them a little bit tonight. And I think we get over uh, 150. So I'm going to go ahead and back over that total. Butler can shoot 47.5% from the floor. That ranks in the top 30. So look for these guys to get up and down and score some points. Over that 149.5, Butler and Creighton. All right, next one up, Georgia and Kentucky. Next two up, actually, we have. We got Georgia and Kentucky. 153, West Virginia, Iowa State under 154, and I'm going under both of them. Let me tell you why. These don't look right. These don't look right. You know, um, I want to get into some statistics here, but they don't really match up what the odds makers have them set at. One thing that is interesting, back in 1998, I know this, I know it's a long time ago, Kentucky versus Georgia. We had a 156 and a half, they went over. Since that time, we've never seen a total, and this is a trend we've been looking at for you guys that watch these videos. We've never seen a total this high. So usually, you know, now we got that 30 second clock. Usually we think, well, well that 153, we're going to go over. But here's the, the issue with me. Kentucky is scoring at such an incredible, my favorite word, exponential rate. I mean, let, let's just look at their stats right now. They're second in the country in scoring, uh, averaging 90, 
1.3 points per game. That's, yeah, that's number two in the country. Georgia, 71.2 points per game. Georgia could score, and they could shoot. Uh, they're shooting 44% uh, from the floor, 49.6% of their two-point shots. They don't shoot the three particularly well, so that could be an issue, and they don't go really fast, but they're playing the game in Kentucky. So all indications, you know, and Georgia defensively, they've been pretty solid, but again, the game's in Kentucky, you know, so you, you think that Kentucky being at home, that would kind of eliminate that fact. And they're all coming off a loss to Kansas. So you think Kentucky's going to come out and score some points. I think they're going under because Kentucky, you know, they can play some defense. I, Georgia's going to have a lot of trouble shooting from distance. Kentucky's one of the better perimeter defensive teams. Well, let me just tell you, they're, they're allowing opponents just 30.7% from distance. That ranks 24th in the country. They, they're, they're athletic. They're fast. They get in your face. Uh, they close out real well. And uh, it's going to be difficult. And Georgia doesn't shoot three particularly well. Um, but Kentucky can score, man. Gosh, 49.5% for the floor. 55.9% of their two-point shots. Very, very good Kentucky team. Very young. They're going to be tough in the tournament. They also are, they also average, excuse me, 32.8 field goals made per game. That ranks second in the country. So this 153 looks a little bit low. I thought it was going to come out about 157. Maybe even higher, you know, with Kentucky. But uh, I think odds makers are on top of this. I'm going to go ahead and back under the 153. It's kind of a reverse play. And my next play is going to be just like that. Sometimes I'm going to do that. Sometimes I'm going to go with the statistics. Sometimes after seeing as many games as I have over the years, I've been paying attention to basketball, handicapping basketball. Um, you know, sometimes it's just something doesn't seem right. And so I'm going to go with uh, what I think is uh, correct and go under that total. And you're more than welcome to disagree with me. I think I'm right. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before, but uh, overall, though, I think, you, you know, as we continue through the season, we're going to end up with a profit. Um, I, I'm going to go under. I'm going at 153. You can tell I'm kind of it, – it, the line bothers me, you know. and th th But that's what I like about looking at the numbers and breaking it down. I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, sometimes I get a little obsessed with it. But something doesn't look right with that one. So I'm going to go under. Maybe they go over, and I'll have to just go ahead and log that into my brain uh, about what happened there. Because these numbers this year have been really difficult. These have the, been the highest totals we have seen – uh, in college and the NBA in quite some time, uh, like overall as a whole. I mean, just take a look at the numbers. They've been uh, incredible. All right, last game again, West Virginia, Iowa State, 154, and I'm going under because, again, that one doesn't look right. So kind of these are kind of reverse plays for me where, you know, statistically it looks like, well, they're going to go over. Same with Kentucky, but I just don't think they get there. West Virginia and Iowa State, so they've been in this uh, the Big 12 together since 2013. This total right here, 154, that's about average of what we've seen between these two teams. They had, uh, their last two totals were 157. And that's because Iowa State goes really fast, and they're at home, and West Virginia can really get up and down. I'm surprised this is not at that like at that 157 again, because their last game they played, 97 to 87. And then the time before that, 81 to 76. Those are, two, those are some pretty high total affairs. But yet odds makers came out with the 154. There is some decent reason behind this West Virginia can play some really good defense I'll tell you what I mean right now they're allowing just 65.5 points per game that's solid and they're allowing opponents right now to shoot just 42.4 percent uh overall um if you hear a little extra noise by the way in the background my kids are are uh, I think they're looks like they're destroying each other in the other room I'll have to go check that out in a sec <laughs> yep that's kids that's what they do all right let's go ahead let's look at some numbers Iowa State and West Virginia both can flat out score again, which makes this total seems odd to me. I'll talk about percentages in a sec. First one, West Virginia, they're averaging 87.8 points per game. Iowa State's averaging 80.8. That's a lot of points. They both play some pretty good defense. Iowa State, 69.1 points per game they're allowing. Percentage-wise, though, they both can score. West Virginia is shooting 47.8% for the floor. Iowa State shooting 45.9%. Defensively, they're not bad on percentage-wise both sides. I'm going under. It just doesn't look look right to me. It looks off. So I'm going to go and go under that 154. Let's recap that. A couple plays where it's just kind of more of a gut play, you know, and you could you can play it, fade it, uh, do what you want. But that's the information I believe is correct. Creighton and Butler over the 149.5. Georgia, Kentucky over the 153. West Virginia, Iowa State under the 154. Check out our NBA Live segment, 4 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Uh, well, it'll be today as you probably look at this. And I wish you luck on your picks today. Do your research before you bet. Check out our ratings guide to see which books have the best ratings and sign-up bonuses. Open up several accounts and shop for lines at sbrodds.com. Always be ahead of the game.